for Global Medical News Network, this is Miriam Tucker reporting from the 2010 Annual Conference on Antimicrobial Resistance. Several speakers at this meeting have addressed the concept of antimicrobial stewardship. What exactly does that mean? Well, it's an interesting term, and it really implies a couple of things. I think the essence of it is to be able to use antimicrobials appropriately, but there's also a little bit more than that. It, it, it refers to our ability to preserve antibiotics for appropriate use long term. So there's this immediacy and then there's also an overall look at how we want to use antibiotics. There are several challenges to, to really appropriate antibiotic stewardship and for individual clinicians I think it, this is really a, a tough thing because we're all most interested in helping our patients and stewardship looks not only at individual patients, but more importantly, it looks at the entire population in a hospital or in a city or even in a country or the world. That it's, it's a big overview. So for our individual patients, we may have difficulty standing aside, so to speak. We want to use what we want to use. And I think the other problem is that, that in many cases, we're prescribing antibiotics without knowing exactly what we're treating. That's called empiric use. And um, there will always be a degree of empiric use, but with the increasing number of resistant bacteria out there, the uh, amount of empiric use and our pressure to use antibiotics that are broader spectrum or active against resistant organisms uh, continues on. So those are big challenges, but I think there are solutions. Um, with regard to empiricism, I think that the advent of increasingly rapid and accurate diagnostic tests are going to help us a lot, and they already have. If we can, for example, prove that something is a viral infection rather than a bacterial infection, we can alter our antibiotics appropriately. If we find out exactly what organism it is, we can really help that out as well. And we have increasing support in many hospitals for these types of decisions. Uh, so that we get the information and education that we need to know what our use patterns are, what the antibiotic patterns are in terms of the uh, uh, antimicrobial susceptibilities and so on. And that education piece is really important as well. Um, and lastly, we need the feedback. Um, we need to know what we've done, whether it was appropriate or not. And many hospitals are ramping up to give individual feedback about antimicrobial susceptibilities and our usage patterns. For Global Medical News Network, this is Miriam Tucker reporting.